So how would it feel to actually be able to use the law of attraction to see physical results in your financial life? You know, a lot of times I think we apply these things and we do certain things and we don't actually see results. So today I want to go over some of the results I've gotten and how I actually tripled my monthly income using the law of attraction. I'm going to go over some of the things that I did um, because how much would it change your life if you could triple your monthly income and also around something you love. So maybe you're not doing something you love yet. But to understand what I'm going to go over in this video means you can apply this later to something you love or start this with something you love and start earning quickly, start bringing more in, or even start bringing more in with something you're already doing. But this works if you do it. So let's get right into it. I'm excited to share it with you. I hope you're excited too. Let's go. So welcome to the video. My name is Dave and this is Hard Space where I'm creating videos all of the time to really help you rediscover, unearth what it is you truly are, which to me is a divine, infinite, co-creative being. And so I make videos like this that can help you tap more into that power that you always have had access to. Um, so that's why we make videos on Law of Attraction, videos on other universal principles that you can start applying in your life in a practical way, sometimes an esoteric way as well. I like talking about that kind of stuff too. Uh, but this one is going to be a much more practical video because we're going over finances. We're going over abundance, how I tripled my monthly income and how you can do similar things. Now, if this is something you want to go even deeper with and you want to start seeing faster results with after watching this video and you like what you hear and you really want to apply this, check out my coaching that I offer. You can book a discovery call with me and we'll see if and how I can help you and also if it is a match for us to work together. So you can book that down below. Um, I would recommend watching this video first to see if it resonates with you and if this, this is something you want. But if that is the case, I would highly consider um, or highly recommend that you take a look at that. So without further ado, let's get into some of the things I did over the last four to five months. I actually did this over the last four to five months, essentially tripled my monthly income. So I'm going to be going over how I did that. And of course, this was doing something I love, by the way. So it's not like you have to do like a hustle and bustle kind of thing or just like it's something that I just earn money with and I don't really like it. I did this doing stuff that I love. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's move into the first thing that I did that allowed me to do this. So the first thing I utilized, and I've known about this for a little bit of time now, but I really started to utilize it fully in these last, I say five to six months, a little bit longer than that, but really five to six months that helped me do this, is something called Pearson's Law. Now Pearson's Law states that that which gets measured improves, but that which gets measured and recorded improves drastically. Now, if you've ever been someone that goes to the gym consistently, you'll know this to be the case because people who go for a certain weight, they record their workouts, how much weight they're using, the reps they do, and they really measure and record their time in the gym, they tend to get results faster, they tend to be more accountable, and they tend to be more inspired. Why? Because it's utilizing Pearson's Law. And we can do the same thing for money. And so over the last six months, actually I think seven or eight months, I have consistently been using Pearson's Law to record all of the money that's come in, to set certain goals, and to make sure I'm measuring and recording um, what's happening. Now this does a few things. This also gives me a better grasp on where my finances are, which is always a good awareness to have. But it allows me to be motivated and inspired, for example, if I'm not earning so much at a certain time, kind of looking for solutions. Um, but it also, again, just uses this law to increase the amount that's coming in. I've noticed more opportunities coming in. I've noticed that every single month, actually, over the last five months, I believe, I've earned more each and every single month, um, which is why my income has tripled. And so you really want to utilize Pearson's Law. In my coaching and with my clients, we go really deep into this and use um, you know, real proven systems around Pearson's Law in order to really make sure that we're taking full advantage of it. But you want to look at this law a little more closely and think about applying it to your own finances because it just works. Again, it's Pearson's Law, not Pearson's Theory, and sometimes it works for this person, but not for you. It's Pearson's Law will work for every single person who applies it. So it's there to be used, um, and I would look that up and start doing using that to measure and record your finances. Before we even move on, put in the comments, I am abundant, because we're going to go over some things where, you know, it's really important that you identify with being abundant um, about transmitting that energy out. So write that down in the comments to confirm and affirm this, and we'll move on to the next thing I did. So the next thing I did was I call honoring the 
Arigato. Have any of you heard of the Arigato money method? If you follow Mind Valley, you've probably heard of this, but essentially a Japanese author who interviews a lot of the wealthiest people in Japan, um, interviewed the wealthiest person, I believe, in Japan, who was called like the Warren Buffett of Japan or whatever. I can't remember his name exactly, but if you look that up, you'll find him. Um, and he said, you know, what is your secret to having acquired so much wealth, to being so abundant? And he said, it's simple. I Arigato my money. Now, for those of you who don't know, arigato simply means thank you in Japanese. I believe that's what it means or something to that effect. And what he said he does is whenever he gives money or spends money or receives money, he gives thanks for it. He treats money almost like a seed that he's thank when he thanks, he's watering, he's, he's appreciating, he's giving love to. And if you look at how most people treat money, they don't do this. They curse money. Whenever money leaves them, they curse that. Even when they receive money, a lot of people don't receive money graciously or gratefully. And so one of the habits you can start getting into is every single time you spend money in any manner, just taking a pause and going arigato, or you can just say thank you, but really feeling that, sending out that energy into the universe. And as you do this all day and you get used to the fact or get used to doing it every single time you give and receive money, which happens more often than you think for most people. I mean, I'm talking about you receive a bill and you say arigato for the money you're spending on that bill. You could even go further and be like, you know, thank you so much for this internet bill because it gives me this incredible access to this thing that, you know, 100 years ago, no, I mean, not even 100 years ago, decades ago, people didn't have access to. And it allows me to do so much and it helps me do X, Y, and Z. You could even go further with, with it. Um, but you can just go arigato, really feel thankful for any money that's coming in or even leaving. And it will start rewiring you to see abundance, to feel good about money rather than feeling bad about money. And money loves to come to those who praise it, that feel good about it, that give it love. What you appreciate, appreciates. And that's the same for money. And so one of the techniques I've been doing um, for probably about five to six months consistently is arigatoing my money. And I've seen incredible, incredible results from doing that. And I don't care how much money it is. You know, even if I'm paying like a dollar for something, I'm like arigato. Or if, if it's a little bit, a little bill for something, arigato. I go to get coffee, arigato. You know, you don't have to do it as you're handing over the money. You can if you want. You can just, as you're leaving the store, take a pause. I like to put my hands, you can't see, but I like to put my hands on my heart or kind of have my hands out like this. But do what you have to do to really tap into that energy just for a moment. Arigato your money and you're going to be blown away by the results if you do this. Again, because you are always transmitting out a frequency and an energy. And so you could do little affirmations and little things, but if, if you're doing that for 30 minutes and then the rest of the day, you're right back in lack mentality, you are transmitting that out. And that's happening 24 seven, whether you like it or not. But by arigatoing your money, um, by arigatoing anything that comes in or anything that um, you give out, what you're doing is you're sending that transmission up multiple times a day and you're making it more consistent and the universe loves consistency. It will give back to you what you are giving it consistently. And so if say you do 10 things that involve money throughout the day, you are now sending that energy, kind of that arrow of energy, shooting that out into the universe at least 10 times. And also doing that has a residual effect, especially as you do this more and more to where your default will become actually giving love for money. So anyway, look more into the arigatoing money. It has been such a beneficial tool for me. Another one I give clients and I always check in with them when I'm working with them. You know, are you arigatoing your money? If they're falling off, I make sure to get back on. It's just so crucial. It's so simple. Guys, again, a lot of these things are going to be so simple. It's not about doing complex things. It's about doing the simple things consistently. And so you mix this with the one I already went over, the Pearson's Law. You're going to start seeing results just from those two. All right, and so I'm gonna give you one more little daily routine, daily practice that I've been doing, and then I'm gonna give you kind of the big hitter, like the, the really juicy stuff that these little practices led to. They all go together, but then it's like the big action kind of stuff. So the next one is called just taking the oath. And so every morning and every night, have an oath of wealth, oath of abundance, oath of manifestation that you are reading out and feeling as strongly as you can as you start the day and as you end the day. Again, this is just gonna help you start the day in a place of abundance and send that transmission out and also end the day from a place of abundance and send that out. Especially when you're ending the day by going to sleep in that energy, you are allowing your subconscious to also play a part and help you while you sleep. A lot of people go to bed worried and thinking about, you know, especially financially, financial struggles and how am I gonna pay for this, blah, 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 and all this different stuff. You're sending that out and then for eight hours or however long you're sleeping, you're in that energy a lot of the time. And so you wanna to go to bed with an abundance energy. 
right? So you can use this oath of manifestation or abundance or wealth, whatever one you want to use in order to send out, again, that arrow of abundance instead of lack or whatever else you've been doing on autopilot. Now, again, you can create this oath of manifestation or abundance or wealth, whatever you want to call it um, yourself, use affirmations that you like, but you're basically going to have something you read out. I have something printed off um, that actually a mentor gave to me. Um, it's, it's, it's his oath of uh, manifestation and it's, a re it's just amazing and I'll read it with feeling every morning and every night for the most part. Um, I make sure I do it at least every morning. Um, there are other things I'll sometimes do at night. But you read this out just with pure feeling. It takes about one minute to do and you're going to start feeling abundant just from doing it. And again, just it's been one of the things I've been doing over the last five to six months. I don't think it's coincidental that over that time I tripled my monthly income while doing these things. All right, and so this is the last thing I want to leave you with because this is going to be so important. Here's what's going to happen when you are doing the three things I've already mentioned. So utilizing Pearson's Law, um, aligatoing your money, and the oath that you're going to take in the morning and night. What this is going to do is not necessarily drop money into your lap. Now, if you already certain things developed, you will start seeing opportunities come in, but that's exactly what it's going to do. It is going to bring more opportunities, more ideas, and more just circumstances for you to produce wealth to you. And now you need to use the intuitive hits, basically the little soft balls the universe is throwing you and hit them out of the park. Most people don't even swing. Most people don't even take a shot. But the universe, when you do these things, are gonna, it's going to be throwing you softballs that you would be able to hit out of the park every single time if you want some sports analogies. Uh, so if you want a sport analogy, I should say. But ultimately, it's now about taking action. Remember, you are in a co-creative process. Notice the co part of that. Co-creative. Not universe, just give me everything. I'm going to sit here and do nothing. It's co-creative. The universe will set them up. You got to knock them down. You got to knock them out of the park. Right? And so you have to take action. And so when you get the intuitive hit while you're developing this abundance mentality and energy from all these other practices, you have to then take the action. Right? So the opportunity might come your way, boom, your intuition says this is coming because you're abundant, this is, this, this is a new thing that's coming in, you have to take it. This new opportunity comes in, boom, have to take it. This person comes in that's very aligned, boom, you know, take the action, whatever it is. You have to now take the action. I have done that consistently over the five to six months, whether it's I've had maybe sponsorships come in or other opportunities come in to make money. If it's aligned, I'll take them. I won't shrink away or shy away. You know, I'm not afraid to do something I've never done if that's the thing my intuition is bringing me towards. Um, but ultimately, you have to then take the action. Now, doing the three things I mentioned above might help you raise it a little without you changing your ways or changing the actions that you take. Um, and sometimes, you know, very synchronistic and kind of magical things can happen and they will. But if you really want to utilize this, you also have to take the action when your intuition, which is more now tuned to abundance because of the practices you're doing, you have to take that action and follow through. All right. So those are some of the things I use to triple my monthly income in about a four to five month period. And how much would that help, you know, just you or, or to really change your life if you're able to triple your monthly income in that way, also doing something that you love. So I hope you've gotten some value out of that. Please apply what you've learned. And if you really, really want to take this deeper, you really want to start seeing these results quicker, again, book a discovery call with me and I'll see if and how I can help you, if coaching is going to be right for you or any other service that I offer. And we'll find something, um, if it's a match, that I believe and you believe is going to benefit your growth in this area or other areas. So book a call if that sounds interesting to you. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Remember, you are loved. We live in a friendly universe and I'll see you in the next video.